Welcome back to Cougar News. I'm Thomas Colantoni. And I'm Adriana Sacco. Welcome back from spring break. More students had the chance to come back in person. Monday was the first day of the fourth quarter. There's now under 50 days left of school. Since the weather is getting nicer, always be prepared to go outside during your lunch period. This gives everyone the opportunity to get some fresh air. Now that more students are back in the building, be mindful of social distancing, wearing your mask, and washing our hands. For sports, baseball and softball tryouts begin on Monday. All paperwork has been collected, so make sure to keep an ear out for more information. And now from your student council, welcome to quarter four of this very unique and challenging school year. We are so proud of our students for all your hard work and difference this year, and we want to remind you that your counselors are here for you if you need anything at all for the remainder of the year. If you are feeling stressed about anything at all, remember to take care of yourselves. Some stress relievers that we recommend are taking things out on trusted people, getting outside in nature, engaging in activities you enjoy, and deep breathing exercises. Your counselor here at CMS can review deep breathing exercises with you, and we also encourage you to visit our Instagram page at CMS School Counseling. You can find some resources about this. This week's student showcase is Lakshana. For me, I, I'm really interested in realistic art, but one of my side notes that I do, I'm trying to do is cartoon or just making up my own realistic characters and drawing without a reference since drawing with a reference is more comfortable for me and mostly people when I when I say I do realistic drawing they think I use a grid or uh, I use some kind of method or some electronic or any device to draw but for me freestyle is good for me I really like imagining stuff. For example, if I'm reading a book, telling a story, or even listening to a story, I always imagine it with the tiniest bit of detail. In my Indian school that I went to, they didn't really focus on what art you liked. They um, had you draw what they drew. So if you compare my art here, uh, here when I came uh, to the America, and in India, you will see a lot of difference since I didn't really pursue it when I, um, I actually got the idea of art when I uh, went to fourth grade, I think. But before that, I drew some small doodles. Now looking back to it, I feel like, yeah, I did do art. I never saw myself pursuing any art related careers or even um, having art in my future life because I always wanted to be a doctor and I wasn't really sure if art really connected with the doc with being a doctor any type of dentist or, um, a pediatrician anyone so I wasn't really sure if I would use art in my life but I did consider myself being an art teacher one day just like a realistic art teacher because Till now, I really wanted to just teach people to draw. This week's teacher interview is Mrs. Wilson. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, and I became a teacher because I had the greatest uh, flute teacher when I was a kid. I was terrible at playing the flute, and he just made me feel like I was the greatest flute player that ever walked the earth. So he just had such a positive impact on my life. So as I got older and had my own children, I decided what do I really want to do and I thought about Mr. Singer, that was actually his name, and um, how good he was to me and I wanted to be like that kind of an impact on kids, making school fun, making them feel good, bringing them up every day. Um, and I love teaching so it was definitely the right fit for me. Um, if I wasn't teaching, I would definitely be somewhere in the sports world. I always wanted to be in the Olympics, um, I love watching sports, so I think I would either be a uh, sportscaster, some sort of coaching, but low level, not like the one who makes the decisions. Couldn't handle that. Um, and just be a part of that type of environment, any kind of sport. I love football, basketball, you know, track. I coach um, here at Central. Um, so I would definitely do something like that. Um, and lastly, um, what do I like for breakfast is I love cereal, all kinds of cereals. Um, super sugar crisp, peanut butter crunch, frosted flakes. 
Uh, I haven't met a cereal I didn't like. Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious, because they are. And then I like to also like mix them together. I'm one of those weird, kind of strange people. Not everyone does that. So I'll eat the peanut butter crunch, and then I'll have like super sugar crisp in there. So it's like a mixture. So that's what I eat for breakfast. So that's just a little about me. Thank you. Thank you for your interview, Mrs. Wilson. That's all for Cougar, Cougar News. News. See, See you next week. week. Bye, Bye Cougars. Cougars.